Did Nicodemus ask about the kingdom of God? No. He simply said, we know you've come from God as a teacher. No one can do these signs unless God is with them. And all of a sudden, Jesus says, by the way, apropos of nothing that you've asked me thus far, let me lay this on you. And I'm going to lay it on you with one of my patented amen amens. And I say patented amen amen because Jesus is the only one who does this. In all of literature, Jewish literature or otherwise, nobody says amen amen. Translated truly, truly, verily, verily. Remember what, do you remember what I taught you about the amen amen and why it's so unique about Jesus and what communicates about our Messiah? Amen is what you attached in ancient Hebrew practice, Jewish practice, to a prayer. Maybe so. Punctuation. Maybe so. May it come to pass. Jesus, and this is worth repeating because it's so important. I don't want you to ever miss it because you're going to see a lot of truly trulys or amen amens, verily verilys, in the Gospel of John. I don't want you to miss this. He is so certain of what he is saying. There's no ambiguity. There's no uncertainty. There's no perhaps. He's so certain about what he's saying that he can lead his statement not only with amen, here's what I got to say, but amen, amen. I am so certain of what I'm saying. And it is so certain. It's so absolutely factual that you can take it to the bank. Truly, truly. That gets your attention. I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Jesus' preaching was characterized by kingdom-oriented instruction. We don't see it very much in John, but John's got a different agenda. Nonetheless, we do see the kingdom right here. Kingdom of God. When Jesus spoke of the kingdom, and when Jewish people thought of the kingdom, and when the kingdom is written about in Acts and in Paul's epistles, the kingdom is a concrete kingdom. It is a national kingdom. It is a political kingdom. It's characterized by the physical, actual rule and reign of the Messiah from Jerusalem. And it includes restoration of Israel as a nation. The kingdom will be established when the king comes. When the king comes. Did you see the return of the king? Right. There's no kingdom until the king is given his crown. And Jesus will return, Yeshua will return, and he will establish the kingdom, ruling from the throne of his father, David. So this is the kingdom of God that Jesus is referring to. This is the kingdom that Jesus preached. This is the kingdom that the disciples preached. This is the kingdom the New Testament speaks of, a future age, when Israel will be the chief of nations and the world will be at peace under the reign of the perfect King David, our Messiah.